Hello and welcome to another episode of my daily move room videos. It's going to be a two parts of every video, so because um, I'm waiting for three more things, but I thought I'd just do these uh, first before I receive them. Um, that the three will be in a separate video. Probably will go up the same time as this one. So I've done that a few times really where I'm waiting for stuff, but either this video is not going to go up for a couple of weeks after I'm shooting it, so that's not a problem. Um, I've this stuff by then, or I've got too much to show, or just don't want to, you know, wait a week for something else to come, include it in the same video. So I'll, I'll do them separate. But I've got a few still books here from Zavi after not having much for the last week or two. I've um, got a few things here. Um, I think some of these will probably slightly delay by a few days. Um, so I can't remember these were to come out. If they were supposed to come out the Monday, uh, I got them three days early. Uh, normally get stuff on the Saturday, but to get stuff on the Thursday is unusual, and I'll probably get to do this stuff today I'm recording this video, but it won't, won't be for a bit. Um, so, uh, these are all sales, I'm not going to open them, I've got a huge amount of detail on these, just basically pickups video. So, we some breakable, uh, 4K, uh, Blu-ray, now, I can't remember if Sixth Sense had a 4K release. Um, I know obviously Glass did, because I've got that, and, but yeah, I'm not sure about, and Split, I think that had a 4K release as well, but um, yeah, it's unbreakable. I watched it again not too long ago, because I hadn't really remembered too much about it, um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it, kind of a superhero kind of movie, in in terms of uh, like comic hero. Um, not normal, typical one, but, you know. He's got Bruce Willis, who's um, from Sixth Sense, and uh, Samuel Jackson. Still need to watch um, Glass, if I'm not into watching it. I've um, seen Split, I've seen, I've seen Sixth Sense a couple of times. Next up is The Howling. Now, I did order another copy of this, but not this one, it's a collector's edition. Uh, so this is a 4, 4K still book. The collector's edition didn't have the still book. And um, so I think, and this is in the other edition, I know the um, last Blu ray I got of this, which also had a still book, and it's one where I, I forgot I got a still book and a slipcover release. Um, one or two more duplicates is one I forgot about. Um, but I had different special feats on. But I do have a DVD of this a moment, a Momentum release. And none of the special features were on that one. Uh, I think those are ones that were on this. The, the, the last three. We'll see the new one on there. Um, I think those are the ones that are on here. So I can get rid of that DVD. I'm not too bothered about the other special features not being on this. Because I've still got the other still book anyway. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm not, not sure why. Because it's still Studio Canal. But there must, there must be a reason why. But obviously the special features are different. But this, when did this come out? Uh, yeah, I think it came out around the same time. I think it was around the same time as American World for London. If I remember that was 81, I think, as well. Um, yeah, Jay Dante film. Uh, next up, you got Space Jam and New Legacy. So I haven't seen the original Space Jam, and I've got it. And I think I've got it in 4K as well now. But um, yeah, this didn't get a lot of love. I think people didn't really like it. Kind of a unnecessary sequel, but I'll give it a go. I do like Looney Tunes. Not a huge base um, basketball fan, but yeah, I'll give it a go. Got to be, I don't expect it to be completely terrible. Um, and yeah, that's the sticker rating, by the by the way. Not not well printed one on. Uh, next up, we've got Transformers the movie. Uh, this is the 4K edition. I do, also already had the. Um, Original Blu-ray still book. I believe this is a 4K release. Yeah. Now, did disappoint me because I thought this came with a still book. Obviously, it doesn't do. Although there, there is a still book version. Um, I think it's the same. Well, I don't know what the artwork on the disc is um, on the sleeve. I'm going to open this yet, but I've still got the artwork on there. Uh, well, I won't open that one because it'd be awkward doing one-handed. But I think 
from what I looked and bred a comma in the still book artwork and that works the same but like I did with the howling I bought the still book and sort of got collector's edition which didn't have the still book so I'll probably do the same with this but yeah I was convinced that this set came with a still book and this is based the shaft I presume this is based the same as the shaft actual release um, in terms of everything on there um, there is a I've got the DVD special edition look at the years ago and none of those special features not all of them were on the original blu-ray i'm not sure if they're on this one um so if i can get rid of the dvd as well that'd be great uh, I, can, I can get rid of the howling it's one less in my pile of one i'm keeping and um it just looks like it's got some new special features as well um, again in terms of the previous release not sure what is carried over not carried over um, but yeah but i've still got that one anyway so it's not a problem and I think some uh, see what's in this and maybe some art cards or posters or something. But I'm sure there'd be other boxings on that or um, by other people anyway. Uh, next up, we've got a 4K collector set of Carly Hitter's Way, and unlike previous Universal ones, this is actually in a hard box, which is good because all the other ones have been in thin cardboard and it's, um, yeah, coming from Zave, um, who get damaged. But yeah, this was fine. They were actually packaged well. They used proper wrap round boxes, um, which is improvement because they normally have the unpass used jiffy bags. Although they have said they've stopped using jiffy bags, but not everyone's being convinced by that. But this does have a steel book in it, and um, you can see. I'm not going to obviously open this one as well, but you can see you've got the booklet, our cards, and the postcard. But, um, yeah, good, good to see this is in a proper box. Problem is, if they're in a thin box, you can't just go and get in the box for it because it's, you know, it's the actual box for it and it's got a little printing on. Um, you know, I don't mind paying us a couple of quid, a couple of quid if it means you get this. Um, you know, I do put these in plastic things anyway, but it does stop them getting damaged anyway because thin cardboard can crease, as, as I showed that thing. 4k um set that would be in something like this or that's also universal um then it would have been better but i think because the other ones that surely canal did were in the thinner cardboard then kind of took the same thing so, and then the last thing and this is something i was gonna buy ages ago i think i was reduced on um a lot of this particular release of it but it was reduced on amazon um i think it was the first I mean the original version of it, not the re-release version. Uh, just a standard box set of the original series of Star Trek. But yeah, it, it just never came. Um, so I just didn't bother because it was like 50, 60 quid. I didn't want to pay that. But I don't mind paying that for like still books. So they've done a still book set on the original series. And again, this is a more sturdy box com compared to the Indiana Jones box again, which was particularly thin. And then, yeah, this has got the three original series, um, series season, I don't want to call it. Um, they're all different still books, and they're all, like different colours as well. And then you can see that's the artwork on those, and there's a ton of special features. And again, I'm sure I'm assuming these are the same discs as previous, so the same special features. It might be the same artwork. I don't know if they've changed the artwork because they haven't opened these yet to check the artwork on these, and also. I don't know what the artwork was like on the other sets because there was two different versions. But um, yeah, I've watched. I've seen. I'm not necessarily seen all of these, but I have watched some bits of these and episodes over the years. Uh, not the, like the biggest Star Trek fan, but I do like the original series, and I used to watch uh, Next Generation. Didn't really get into Deep Space Nine. Watched bits of Voyager. Then I kind of not really bothered with the Simpsons. Those are the series, obviously, Enterprise. I've got Picard to watch. Um, but, yeah. So, that's the Star Trek um, sub box set. So, I've got some more stuff from Zappy, which will come. And I'll show that in a separate video. But that's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.